Hey guys, welcome to this four part tutorial series. And in this first part, we will create the main shape and I will show you absolutely amazing surface modeling techniques. In the second part, we will create all of those details. And also I will show you how to export that. And in our last part, I will show you how to create professional product renderings. So if you don't wanna miss out that tutorial series, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. And before we jump right into our tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I have amazing plasticity courses, very beginner friendly, and I show you amazing workflows and techniques, and I explain everything down to the details so every one of you can follow along and can learn those amazing workflows and techniques. So first link in the description, check them out, and let's start with our first part of our tutorial series. First of all, go here to Google and search for uh, Hoyo Drill, just download a few references, and then you go here to the front view, import a pen, and let's take this image here because we see straight to the front because here we look straight front to the drill and press G and bring that down and just align it yeah so we have this circle here kind of in the middle and select it press G bring it way back so it's not disturbing and also press M here my shortcuts press front and bring it down there and amazing so perfect, we have something like that. And yeah, so the, <laughs> the interesting thing is, um, yeah, it's not that easy and so simple as you might think, because if you see, so let me explain it. So here you see it's going straight outwards, right? So it's just a cylindrical shape. But here where we have this angle, look here on the top, it's going here, so it's not straight, right? Because here you have this angular shape and it should go like here, but it's going here. And on the bottom, it's going down, you know? So yeah, that took me like really some time to figure all that out, how to do that and how to combine. But I came up with a yeah really interesting, cool idea. So let's press M again and bring that down and go to the front. And now create the circle, center circle from here till, he till here and right click. And now we have to um, rotate it because otherwise we don't have this point on the top that we will need. So rotate it 90 degrees. Perfect. And now shift D and just bring that one here and also rotate it a little bit. And yeah, so we have something like that and maybe even make a tiny bit smaller looks like. So we have something like that and let's me extrude that. You see because we can't loft those because if we loft then yeah we don't have here this this angular shape and everything else is fine but also we can't extrude that because here we have then this angle but we don't have it here on the top. So we will do it in a different sneaky way. And also let's create first now this handle here. And let me here disable in viewport. No, I mean disable selection in viewport. So um, yeah, I can't, couldn't find an image from the top or something. So I don't know how thick that handle is, but I will just create here a circle. So we will do it roughly like that. Because also if you see here the references, it's a little bit thinner than here because you see you have here a little bit of a rounding. But yeah, I want to show you the techniques and not 100% exact how to recreate that. So I mean, we will do that, but uh, yeah. So um, Alt X and just X and Shift A, just connect this. And if you're on beginner and if that's everything too fast and a little bit too crazy for you, um, yeah, just go on my channel, search for beginner. I have a ton of beginner tutorials here. So perfect. Then let's go here to that view, front view and G and bring that down and RR. Yeah, so maybe let's make it a little bit smaller. And yeah, I think, yeah, I see already this will be a little bit too thin. But yeah, for now, that's fine. Okay, so let's select that edge and press E and just extrude it. 
and let's see how it goes yeah bring it here and yeah for now let's hide that handlebar so press H and now let's create here this loft and also here on the top oh man this thing is really really cool to create because you see it goes inwards and then it goes straight but here we have an extra line so that took me also a ton of time to figure that out but yeah really interesting so um, let's create that everything and keep that in mind so shift a and let's create the line and just love that and also here from the middle to here the middle also on the other side so yeah i guess something like that that looks good and now here just drag that you see just drag that out with this b normal angle and bring that up here and go here shift click so you have a construction line and bring it here and bring that here and let's just bevel that a little bit perfect so <laughs> that might look a little bit weird but this is the really the way to go what i found out so select those curves l and shift click add all of those others perfect because now you see we have what we exactly need so let's delete those curves. We don't really need them anymore. And now we have to cut some things. So first of all, select here this face, control R, tap, and let's cut it here because here you see that ends the, the, the rounding. And I don't know, also somewhere here. So yeah, let's just sh control R and also yeah, crack it or cut it somewhere here. And also, if we look here, you see it's, it's, yeah, this rounding starts a little bit below this middle. So let's control R this face and cut it maybe somewhere here. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Now, um, yeah, alt H and also let's cut this body. So for this body, we will just here go hardcore like this. And right click and see and cut this body and delete this whole top. And now let's cut that all in half. That will make our life easier. Shift A, go to the top and just cut those bodies here away. And yeah, perfect. So now we can really do the magic part. And I don't know, like I love to work with surfaces. So select this face, delete it with Shift X. And awesome. So now we have to loft it and to patch it. And to patch it, we basically, or it's better if we have, so you see we can loft this one here and we can loft this one here. But this one here, you see it's already too crazy. So that's why we have to break this shape here on the top because you see, so we have this face here with three faces, but this face, it's just one, so we also have to break it in three. So again, select this face and yeah, shift R here and shift R here. And that looks will be already much better. And let's connect all that. And this is really fun. So mm, as in my previous, so yeah, we will um, yeah, first of all, we have to connect all of those lines and build kind of a cage so we can then without a problem loft it and patch that everything. So let's select those edges here and press F and bridge curve. No, uh, F bridge edge. Exactly. Let's go here to the uh, front view and, and see if that looks right. So yeah, go here and select those here and press F and bridge edge. Boom, you see, it's exactly what we need. And also let's do here, select those two edges, F and bridge edge. And here we can adjust it a little bit. So yeah, maybe something like that. And yeah, maybe, and yeah, maybe something like that and something like that. But yeah, this is fine. Perfect. Now let's do the same for those edges. So again, bridge edge. And bam, look how beautiful that is already. And here the same, F bridge edge, boom, perfect. 
And now one little trick that I showed you already in another video. So because we just have an half, we need here a continuity and we can't, so we can patch that. Boom. <laughs> That's so cool. But here you see we don't have G1, G0. So this will not be a continuity. So that for that, just select those two here and extrude them a little bit and delete this edge here. Because now if we will select all that and press patch, boom, we have here G1 continuity. So this is perfect. Uh, press 4 and yeah, just bring everything together if it's not already. Awesome. So now let's select those two lines and press L. So we have a nice smooth connection, you see, and with shift click at those edges here. Beautiful. Delete those edges. And yeah, now J to join that. And yeah, now this new patching tool. I don't know. It's just, it's just out of this world. Select everything. Bam. Patch. Boom. <laughs> that looks so good. And just tap G1. Bam. We have everywhere. Okay. I'm today a lot of with bams and booms. But yeah, anyway, look, everything is so smoothly connected. It's, it's crazy. So right click and do the same here. So select all that and bam, you know, bam. Let's see. That, that looks so good and just tap so everything is G1 and that is really good. So delete everything unnecessary here and also those faces with shift X and look if we go here to this view it looks almost perfect. So with materials yeah that look, will look good and look this is almost I don't know it's I think it's almost exactly maybe the sizes and here this angle is maybe a little bit sharper than here but yeah it's amazing. It's just amazing. Yeah, so let's continue and I will show you one more interesting surface technique. So select that, Alt X and uh, Y, merge halves together and we have again one yeah, normal thing here. <laughs> cool, so um, let's now really create here this top piece. And as I said already before, it's not just here a hole or something because you see, so if you follow this line, it goes straight, 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 and it goes straight here. You see it goes still straight. And then on the top, we have that thing, which go, it's going down. So I don't know. It's, it's very, very interesting shape. And yeah, when I saw that, you see, so it's going straight, but it's already going inside. It looks really, really weird. And when I found that, I had to figure that out. So that took me time. But here we show you it's pretty yeah, simple, maybe. So first of all, select all that thing and patch holes. So we have here one solid. This is very, very important. So always check that you have a solid. So now let's mm, create that. But uh, we also have here, you see, some cuts going through. So very, very interesting practice here. So let me enable that one. And maybe let's um, yeah, just extrude that a tiny bit. So go to the front view. Perfect. So yeah, it's so it looks a little bit um, rounded. Because, yeah, I don't know, it's maybe, it's not, yeah, it's not orthographic, so the original image, but we are in orthographic, so if we are in perspective, then you see we also get some rounding here. But, yeah, this is not the point here. So let's go back to orthographic. Yeah, so let's start. Just create a line and just bring it up here. And bring that up here and or bring it here and then here. And now let's just select that point and give it a nice, cool, sexy fillet. Yeah. The same here, a smaller one. Yeah. And now just cut it. So C and bam. You see? So we have that. And now we could or you could yeah, take this piece here. And, you know, we can adjust it a little bit. Yeah, so now let's go here to the most interesting part. 
And let me do it without that image because yeah, it's just distracting for now. So very, very interesting. Um, let me do it this way. So shift F and just with control click and alt Z so we can see through and just bring here a little bit of a, um, rounding and just snap it here so you are tangent and just bring that up or I mean out. Yeah, let's just say here to somewhere here, shift A and make a straight line to the top. So select both of them, G or J and C and cut that body. So you see, you get something like that. And again, you definitely need the solid because we can now just delete that. Yeah. And now, man, it's so easy if you know how to do that, but so you see, let's create something interesting. So we take this face here and control R and we will break it or cut it somewhere here. And basically we don't need this and this face so we can delete it. You see, so we have a hole and now let's take those two lines and shift D because we will need them for the loft. And now see if we take those two lines and shift this line and L and shift click those lines and we delete this, those lines and press tab and select that and that main body and it doesn't work. So, oh yeah, so just go back and just select it again, just here two sheets and we have one solid body, I don't know where. And now you see, we have that exact um, effect. And look, this is really interesting. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit here, this, uh, the proportions are not right, but look, we have this rounding going inwards, but we still have this edge going till here. You see, this is really cool. And look, what even cooler is now, we can fill it that edge. So select it and just drag it out a tiny, tiny little bit. And it, it breaks at some point, but look, we can fill it that. Guys, isn't that amazing? I don't know. It's so let me show you how that looks. Look, it's how is it possible? How can this fill it? That? How does it know it? I don't know. But look, it's so, so, so beautiful. And yeah, let's make it even, even cooler because we have this cuts here, right? And we have it here. Very simple. And guys, if you like those tutorials, definitely leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the, my next enthusiastic tutorials. <laughs> so yeah, let's create this cut here. Very simple, shift A. So go to the front view, just go here to the center and I don't know, just make it somewhere. Somewhere here, so it's here parallel. Right click and C and cut again this main body. And perfect, so that looks really good. And just now what we have to do here in edge mode, just select a few of those edges here and just give them yeah, a very, very tiny fillet or a chamfer as you want. And also here shift click on the other side. So yeah, that looks really, really, really beautiful. And so that looks fine. And yeah, maybe we could give it a little bit more, but look, the shape is, is amazing. It looks so, 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 so good. And I just love this top piece and here this patch tool. Look, this is perfect. We don't have any errors. This is so beautiful. And those last pieces are for you. And if you enjoy those kind of tutorials and you want to go even deeper and much, much longer, definitely check out my courses and especially my flagship sci-fi and product design course. It's just absolutely amazing. We go through four whole products. You will learn so, so much and so many different techniques in one course. Check it out. First link in the description. And otherwise, check out this next tutorial where we will create another industrial product design. And yeah, so see you in there. Bye.